Hey guys, what's going on? This is Verma and I'm back with a brand new series of videos primarily concerning herpetology. So today, we're going to be diving into the world of snakes in one of my favorite countries. It's the United States of America. So what I'm going to be doing in this series of videos is that I'm going to get in detail about snakes in each and every state in the United States covering from Maine to Montana, from Massachusetts to Minnesota, from North Carolina to California, from Illinois to Arkansas, from Connecticut to Idaho, from Utah to Oklahoma, from Nebraska to Nevada. Okay, <laughs> that's a kind of intriguing. After watching 40 seconds of this video, you guys might think like this. Am I watching a herpetology video or a geography video? <laughs> Guys, you're right. This is a duo boat. So let's begin the series. And by the way, my name is Naveen Verma, and I'm from USA. It's not the United States of America, but it's the United Segments of Amalapuram. Huh, cheap little joke. Okay. So first of all, let's have a look at the main state of the country, inappropriately named Maine. So Maine lies in the northeastern part of a country. Right here, it's famous for its uh, national park named the Cadia National Park. And uh, it's also famous for its pine trees. Now, hence it's called a pine tree state. It's a part in New England and uh, Maine is very little known for its snakes. So fun fact is that Maine does not contain any of the venomous snakes. There used to be timber rattlesnakes in Maine, but you know, they're extinct right now. But who knows, there may be venomous snakes lurking in those pine trees. Who the heck knows that? But in this video, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to cover six states in, in, in New England. They're Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. So let's get into it in a while. Uh, but right now, I'd like to start out with my favorite, one of my favorite snakes. It's the Northern Black Razor. It's also known as a colubrid snake because you know, it belongs to a colubrid family. Uh, about two by third of snakes belongs to colubrid family. But right now, this snake is critically endangered. Well, not in USA, but in Maine. It's a non venomous snake, as we know. They belong to a group commonly referred to as Eastern Razors. They can grow up to five feet in length, or maybe even more, and weigh around one to two pounds. They're fast moving, highly active diurnal snakes. Their diet consists primarily of small rodents, frogs, toads, lizards, and even other small snakes. So that's pretty cool. And our next snake is this guy right here. It's the Eastern Milk Snake. It neither gives or drinks milk. So, a small disclaimer. So, scientific name is Lampropeltis triangulum triangulum. Don't ask me the meaning of it, so it's not important. Uh, Eastern Milk Snake is a species of king snake. There are 24 species of milk snake, of course there are subspecies. So milk snake grow up to 2 to 5 feet. Some have bands on their skin, however, red blotches. Instead of bands are seen in some snakes like this. So some milk snakes have striking resemblance to coral snake. So you can see that uh, resemblance. There we go. There another. And um, so milk snakes are mostly nocturnal. Ang milk snakes typically eat slugs, insects, crickets, and earthworms. Adult diet frequently includes lizards, kings, and small mammals. They're also known to eat birds and their eggs, frogs, fishes, and other snakes as well. So they kind of look like milk snake and often and often get killed by humans. So really pity. So sad. So our next snake is this beauty called Eastern Garter Snake also known as a common garter snake. So scientific name is Thamnophis sertalis sertalis. It's a species of natricine snake. So most common garter snakes have a pattern of yellow stripes on their brown or green background. So it's really good for camouflage. So the, their minimum, uh, the, the maximum uh, recorded size is five feet. And minimum size is around uh, one feet. I think in more you know, small snakes, babies grow up to only uh, maybe six or seven inches. So uh, they are diurnal. So and uh, garter snakes have venom component in their saliva, which may be toxic to amphibians and other small animals, but they are not toxic enough to kill humans. 
so that's pretty cool and this guy right here is uh, the maritime guider snake did you get that maritime guider snake scientific name is Temnophis totalis pallidus I think it's pallidus okay so uh, these are the common subspecies of um, guider snake and you can find around uh, USA as well so the major difference between eastern guider snake and maritime guider snake is the stripes on their you know midsection uh, they're a little brown in their midsection unlike uh, the eastern guider snake so that's pretty cool and our next snake is this guy the northern uh, water snake I can't see that probably there it is, the beauty. Scientific name is Neurodia sipidin. It's a species of a non venomous snake and colubrid family. They grow up to 5 inches in length or even more. They commonly resemble water moccasin and often get killed unnecessarily as a result of mistaken identity. They undergo hibernation as well. They mostly spend near water looking for small fish, frogs, leeches, salamanders, etc. And predominantly, their diet comprises of this uh, of an invasive species called uh, goby fish. There we go. This is the goby fish. Uh, it's an invasive species from uh, South America, for your information. Okay, with that being said, let's move on to our next snake. It's the ribbon snake. Right here is the eastern ribbon snake, Damnophis sovitus sovitus, a subspecies of a ribbon snake. It gets its name from its slender body, it grows up to three feet. They feed on small fish, frogs, tadpoles, occasionally on insects as well, sometimes even on their own yang, okay, their own babies. And there's, an, there's another species of ribbon snake in Maine called northern ribbon snake. Uh, it's Damnophis sovitus septentrionalis. Uh, it's a kind of a big name. <laughs> I don't know how I remember that, but let's hop on to our next snake. It's the northern brown snake. Really, really cool. I like this snake a lot. There it is. Beautiful little snake. Scientific name is Terraria decae. It's also a small species of colubrid snake. Feeds on earthworms, slugs, snails, etc. Its name, a decae, is in the honor of um, American geologist James Ellsworth decae. Uh, he actually f uh, found this snake in Long Island, New York. They're really famous in Long Island, New York. You got to see that. And um, there you go. Um, the northern brown snake. And the next snake is one of my favorite snakes. It's the northern redneck snake, Didophis punctalis. Really famous around, uh, around uh, America. Um, it's not an exotic creature. Uh, you know, a lot of people treat them as pets non-venomous snake and uh, you can identify it by this ring you know really appropriately named snake so northern ring snake is a famous subspecies of colubrid snake it's a nocturnal snake by the way and they're really small they eat earthworms salamanders slugs etc uh, there are a total of 14 subspecies recognized okay and our next beauty is um, a smooth green snake it's another colubrid Scientific name is uh, Ophiodris vernalis. I think it's Ophiodris vernalis. I don't know. Probably have to uh, have to search for that. It was also referred to as grass snake. It's a small snake. Uh, grows up to 20 inches long and feeds on insects and spiders. That's pretty cool. And our final snake in Maine is the northern red belly. It's another colubrid. Scientific name is Terraria. Oxypictomaculata, Oxypictomaculata. I think it's right, Oxypictomaculata. Of course. Also referred to as fire snake. The feed on slugs, earthworms, etc. So that's it, guys. I think this video is getting too long. So I would like to finish it right now with this uh, northern red belly. Uh, as you can see, you can see that uh, it contains belly colored red, also called as fire snake, for the reason. So uh, let's uh, look out for the other states in, in our next video. So until then, it's goodbye from me and you. See you later.